Uh, cans? <laughs> I see a real bone. It looks like a fried ball. It seems like there might be like a mashed up of meat that's like mixed in here. I don't know. The inside is soft and crunchy. Also spicy. Not really. The only thing I like is like the crunchy outside. What if I told you there was an alligator in that? What, what does alligator taste like? That! I don't like alligators. They scare me. Louisiana has crocodiles. Alligators, yeah. Alligators. Mm -hmm. I would rate this a 2.5. 10. Nine and a half. When you try meats from like different places, you get to like have a new experience of eating meat. It, it looks, looks like chicken nuggets with ketchup. Yay! My favorite. Inside, it's kind of hard, but outside, it's not as hard. What does it taste like? It's like um, crunchy? I see yeah. chicken with like the muscle. Yeah. And the bones are too hard. Hmm. It tastes good. Do you like this? No. You're eating a snake. Hey, it looked like chicken in the beginning. But now we're eating snake? Unbelievable. I was touching the inside of a snake. This is the weirdest day of my life. You know, I'm just gonna put this in front of me. It's so gross. What would you rate this dish? 100, like the other one. Yeah, 100. Mm. A one? Mm. <laughs> 100. It looks like something that we would like, so I wasn't scared. <gasps> oh, crackers and little pieces of meat. Oh, that's so cute. Are we supposed to eat these together or what? I mean, I would take away like a little bit of salt, but it is good. The sauce really complements the meat. It has a lot of flavor. Like, it's not spicy, but it has a bit of a kick to it. This dish looks like an appetizer at a fancy restaurant. What meat do you think that is? Steak. It's not even close to tasting like steak. It's sheep. Oh, poor little sheep. That's yummy sheep. <laughs> I like eating sheep. I just feel bad for the sheep. I'm dipping the cracker into the sauce from the meat. Cause like, who wouldn't want to soak up all that goodness? So what could this be? What could this be? Do -do. The meat tastes like um, smooth and crunchy at the same time. The beans are gross. This is deer. This is reindeer. Makes me feel strange eating reindeer. I'm just gonna call it chicken. I'm still on naughty list from that time. I see fried chicken. They're just sex. It tastes like something I had before. Um, it tastes like Popeyes. I, I, I don't like it. I tried it and I don't like it. The outside is like sort of like juicy, but like the inside's dry. It's like squishy, but like rubbery. That's not chicken. <laughs> what is it? It's actually quail. Wait, it's a dead bird. Rest in peace. I'm sorry. In someone's for stomach. You. I think it's more about the taste, not about what it's called. Mm. That's obviously bread. What is this? This has a different flavor bacon has, and it's just different. I don't know what that is, but it looks like a mini guitar and it's gross. 
I think the sauce is hummus. It tastes like sriracha sauce, but then it, but it had no flavor. Chicken? That's not chicken. Oh God. <laughs> Squirrel. Oh, I'm out. I still rated a uh, 90. But I'm uncomfortably eating squirrels, those cute little munchkin. Cause you don't know what is in that. Oh, I see beans, corn, chicken. It's not sweet, but I don't like the inside. I think it, it looks, looks like, like two meats. meats. What if I told you there was rabbit in that? What? Rabbit? What? <laughs> I feel sad for the rabbit, but I feel good because it tastes good. So it's called Brunswick stew. Uh, mm. Steel? Stew. Oh, not steel. Where do you think they make this? Georgia. Both Virginia and Georgia say that this stew is theirs. It's like a battle between two and two who makes a stew. This rate would be like three or something. This one would be like two. It would have been a 10, but I rated a nine because of the rabbit. That's the sad part. It's good, but it's not supposed to be good because it's dead. There's this little green thing. Pickle, sausage, jalapeno, and egg. I'm gonna go with egg. So it's like a breakfast item. <gasps> Ouch, ow, my dog is burning. Is that bird? Quail, like the bird quail quail. The quail, it's just an odd texture and it doesn't taste good. It's more fun to spin it than it is to eat. It's yeah. some sort of stew. Stir, stir. It tastes, tastes like, like lamb, tastes yeah. like meat. Yeah. Texture-wise, it's like a smooth taste because of the beef and the okra, when it's cooked, it's like softer. It's a bird? Oh, we had that. Don't make things up. No, no, we had bird before. Of course we had bird. Chicken's a bird. I would call this stew animal style stew because it has three different animals in it, plus it has all the other ingredients that you would usually put in stew. Like Kentucky. Boom! That's right! From my instinct, I wouldn't think that it would taste good, but it tastes good. It, it is good with like the mixed meats and the veggies. Mm hmm Okay, fine, I give it an eight. That bacon? That's bacon. It's jerky, isn't it? This is hard to break. I can't break this. Plastic. Not feeling it. It has, it's like spicy in a way. And like, it's too hard. The meat is really thick and tough. Oh, I'm just gonna cranberry. When would you eat this? Like maybe for like this part for breakfast and maybe dinner. I feel like it's a good snack that's small and I think it packs a lot of protein. One out of 10, I'll give this a six. Zero. If it was the only food that I had to eat in a long height, I'll eat it. <laughs>